Today, Anita Knapp will be a very special guest on our show today, and I, Antique, will be the interviewer. So, Anita, what are some symptoms caused by the plague? Well, Anne, some symptoms are coughing, high fever, skin turns purple, nausea, headaches, and aching. What is the most commonly seen of the three? The bubonic plague was the most common, the pneumonic plague is the second most common, and the septicemic was the least common but most deadly. What do you believe developed the plague? Some people thought it was the Jews, other people thought it was because of, the, of stars, but I think it was because of God's anger against sin. What are some cures that didn't get rid of the plague? People killed the Jews or whipped themselves, but I carried around oranges with clothes in it. What changed in Europe towns and why did it change? Peasants revolted and wanted more freedom since many workers left and other workers moved because they wanted more money. How long is the life expectancy for someone who has the plague? It depends on what they had. Like if they had the septicemic, they would have one day. Pneumonic would have one to two days, and bubonic was one week. What are symptoms of the bubonic plague? Headaches, nausea, and aching. What are symptoms of the septicemic plague? Fevers, and your skin turns purple. What are symptoms of the pneumonic plague? Coughing. How is the disease spreading? By people coughing and shaking hands. Where did it first start? I first saw it in Italy, but I don't know where it originated. How many people did it kill? I think it killed about one third of the population. Do you know anyone that was killed by the plague? My parents and some of my close friends. It was tragic. What was it like to walk through your town? Horrible, because people were dying every second and I thought I would get sick. What were things that you wanted to know about the plague before it started? I would like to know how it spread and how to treat it. What classes do you think it affected? Mostly the lower class, but anyone could get it. Thanks, Anita Knapp. Next time, we will we'll be interviewing Oscar.